hi how is it going today's video we are going to be creating a church envelope without further ado let's step into it so right now what we are going to do is to go over to make our envelope size to be 9 by 4 so right now here it is so let's go over to double click on rectangular to automatically snap into page then you locate you know ellipse tool then you draw a perfect circle hold control key on your keyboard and you draw a perfect circle just like so so right now what we are going to do we are using this pattern let's change it to grayscale go over to a bitmap at the menu row then you convert to a bitmap let's make it you know grayscale it's okay good so right now what we are going to do is to create an object on top of this you know uh, object right here so go over and create object on top of it then let's make this you know blue so let's go over uh, to our you know transparency tool then you select that then you go over uh, to the sub menu of the tool then you hit on uniform transparency you go over to this drop you know down menu you uh, put it as uh, subtract you subtracted it then you go over to make a copy of that again then you center it within the object so right now let's uh bitmap that convert to bitmap then in this case right now we are going to be using rgb now okay so right now what we are going to do is to go over and uh, let's you know <coughs> make a copy of this circle right here right click to copy paste then let's uh, clip this picture into the upper circle locate object then you locate per clip then you locate place inside frame select the frame automatically snap into page so right now to edit that you hold alt key on keyboard then you select hold alt key select the image release alt key then you adjust the picture just like so let's pull it down a bit good can you see that so right now what we are going to do let's create an object on top of this let's make it black we have to make it 100 percent black let's click here double click here it that you know dialog box pops up asking you what next then you click on color then let's make it all black right here full black can you see that good it's okay so locate your what it called transparency to let's blend it up you know blend the upper side to be transparent then you per clip it inside the frame good can you see that Hold out key select it release out key then you adjust it just like so good so right now let's you know right click on that to disappear the outline let's group the whole thing group it then go over out to uh, your drop shadow let's give it a drop shadow good can you see that go over to object locate you know break drop shadow apart automatically brace then you group it all up again so right now what you're going to do is to go over to object we are going to power clip this the whole thing you know look at power clip place inside frame select the frame automatically snap into page then you adjust just like so so let's make that a little bit bigger good can you see that reduce it a bit so right now the next thing to do right now let's create you know where we are going to place all these pictures let's do polygon you know hold the hot key draw a perfect po polygon then you go over let's make it you know seven this time seven angles can you see that so make a copy in word a little bit good so right now what we need to do right now is to go over and select the two together so let's blend it a little bit use your uh what's it called drop shadow let's give it a shadow good can you see that so let's go over and break shadow apart can you see that so right now let's make a copy just like so reduce this a little bit then make a copy and reduce that a little bit then you make a copy just like that so what we are going to do now is to power clip this pictures individually select the first one locate power clip place inside uh locate power clip place inside uh frame select the frame automatically snap into page so same process you know applies to all the pictures just like so right now i'm using shortcut good can you see that so Hold out key, select picture, adjust the beats, 
go out key adjust the picture individually adjust the picture individually out key adjust the picture individually good so what we are going to do let's place the logo right here so let's uh, arrange our test in accordance so let's copy the test right from here cut it then let's go over to the portion in which we want to paste the uh, test ctrl v to paste that then change it to y let's go over and make it you know uh you know futura t you can decide to use any form that you prefer so right now i'm using futura t it ctrl k to break test into pieces then let's go over and make this bolder so right now let's hit ctrl k to break this into pieces then let's pull this you know down just like so good so our next step right now is to go over and uh, it's let's use our shape tool reduce the tracking then let's reduce this tracking as well then let's change this to yellow good so right now what we're going to do is to go over to this place let's convert it to curve hit ctrl q automatically convert to curve then you hit ctrl k to break that into pieces so right now what we're going to do is to uh, select this inner object hit ctrl page up automatically snap up then we change it to yellow so let's use gradient you know interactive uh few to drag on that then let's change it to yellow then you tap a little bit of uh, red into the lower portion of that you can see the outcome of it then let's go over and uh, hit control page up with this object too let's change it to yellow so right drag this to the top of this you know uh, object right here release your uh, mouse you know so menu pops up asking you what next then you choose copy or properties can you see that good so right now what we're going to do is to make the whole thing a little bit bigger just like so then let's delete the dots at the top of that you know divine then let's make this you know uh let's reduce the tracking of the team good center it within that good that's good so let's go over and hit ctrl k break this into pieces then you change this to a uh, hello paris you can decide to use any font that you like but me i'm using hello paris so right now so let's make this then let's combine this let's change this to a uh, trijan let's use trijan for this good okay so let's make this a little bit bigger good then let's position this at the top of the harvest so right now we are almost getting there so let let's put in this to board it the name of the church center it within the logo and the progress so right now what we're going to do is to paste the uh, present to the top then let's change the font right click drag that to that then copy our property then you center it within the test good can you see that so let's pull the whole thing up a bit good can you see that so right now let's pull this up a bit group that all up center it within the object center it within the object good good can you see that position that so well center it within that good reduce the logo a bit then pull this up a bit good can you see that so right now the last but not the last but not the least is the uh what's it called dates and what have you so let's change it to black then change the f uh test to futura t then let's use uh you know shape to reduce the tracking a bit so delete the dates good 
so go uh, make this online close the cap in between that then let's close the cap in between that as well good can you see that reduce that a bit so it control k to break all the tests into pieces then let's bold in uh, the main you know uh, test there good bold in this as well so let's position it so well good can you see that good so right now what we're going to do is to position this a little bit up good then let's create a line in between that so let's change it to each f12 the dialog box pops up let's change it to one then let's make it dotted line good it's okay good can you see that make a copy downward then you make a copy when you get to the destination you right click good so right now the next step is to uh make the background this white background a little bit you know a uh, blue hold control key on your keyboard then you tap into this yellow no make this white make it white first then hold control key on your keyboard then keep tapping you know color from here you know automatically you can see the changes good so right now go over to your shape tool let's drag the angle inward to uh, make it round then let's make the outline white right click on yellow make it yellow then hit f12 let's make it you know nine points good can you see that so here you can see the the final proof of what we have been doing so far here we come to the end tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can benefit from what we are sharing so far thank you for following me and thank you for subscribing you know for those who are new you know thanks for subscribing don't forget just give this video a thumbs up so that other people the thumbs up means a like so that people can benefit from what we are sharing right now. Bye. See you in the next video. Bye.